Welcome to another Java tutorial. This video will cover the basics of uh, file searching within specified directories that the user uh, types in. This is a very fun and useful program that you should probably know. Uh, so, these are the basic imports that you need. So, you need Java io.file although you don't actually need to list that you can just do a little asterisk right here uh, and also for user input you need java.util.scanner and as you see I name my file my Java file uh, directory list uh, so now we know that our public class file our class file also needs to be uh, named directory list public static void main string args there we are so now we can actually start a program uh, well now we have to create a um, scanning function user input equals new scanner system dot in so just in case you didn't already know uh, I created a new scanner function called user input what this just does is it asks uh, it receives keyboard presses and attaches it to strings or whatever so let me just create a new string um, user i or something, I don't I have no idea. Uh, system dot out dot print line. Well actually let's not do print line. There's a difference between print and uh, print line. What this does is that if I were to have two of these one being hi and the other being hello Instead, it would be, if you were to print it out, it would be more like this. Uh, well, uh, print line will do, hi, uh, hello. Because it's the, the equivalent of pressing return. So, in, I mean, you could just do print and then, like, uh, hi, hello. But, you know, you know we're not doing that. We're doing print. Otherwise, the, it just looks nicer from what we're doing right now. So, directory. So, now we need to attach the user input to string user i, which current value is uh, null. It has nothing, nothing attached to it. So, user i equals user input dot next. File. So now we need to actually get into the file portion. Uh, user i. There we are. So now it will have the specified like file dir. So now we're actually getting into the file portion of it all. So now we're gonna have to have a for statement that will uh, uh, that will go through the specified directory and stop when there is nothing left to read. So now I create a new file. File equal is uh, dir dot list files. This function is for us, and, uh, and within this function it has a sorting algorithm that sorts the files alphabetically. So if I do system dot out dot print line, well actually I do f dot get name. So this will just get the value of. Of uh, F. Uh, 
Why is it taking so long to compile? Okay, I thought there was an error or something. So now let's test out our program, see if it actually works. So c colon slash users slash Vincent slash desktop. And it should list all the files, which it did. It actually listed all the files within the specified directory. Now we can spruce this up and actually uh, make it a little bit more complicated, such as if um, if dot get name dot contains dot uh, dot exe whatever um, it will print out oops, I didn't even mean to do that it will print out the file so it will only print out the file that has uh, .exe uh, in this order uh, inside it. So if f dot get if f contains .exe, then print it out. So let's recompile this and run it. Okay, so I, I see I have two files in my desktop that contain .exe in there. And so what it did is actually printed it out. And our handy dandy for statement uh, made sure that it only printed out, it printed out all the files and then stop when there's nothing left to print out. Well, you could do, you know, like, uh, what I did before was have it so that it, well, like a more complicated program. This is just a simple thing, but what it, like a program I used in this was it asked for a user to specify a file name or part of a file. So if I look for java.exe, I would just do dr and it would search, uh, search these user specified directory for any file that contains dr. If it finds it, then allows the user to um, see if he wants to relocate it to a, another file location. Um, which is what it, to relocate it, which is just to copy and paste it, was just to read in the file, uh, read in all the bytes of the file, and output all the bytes to a specific location. And it actually works which is a good thing so yeah that is the uh, basics of um, of some files you can like make files with this write files all the cool stuff with this um, so I hope this tutorial was helpful to you because I know that it was helpful for me so thank you for watching